Hi everyone, as you probably know, I posted um, in the gossip section about a month ago a guide called a map dissection catalyst guide explaining a few strafe paths and ammo paths but also strategies and tactics for the map called catalyst. Um, so a month later, so today, I decided I would probably make um, a video uh, which would actually explain everything I said in the written guide but in a video so I can show you all of the paths and the moves and probably help you to understand it better. So here we go. Um, we're going to start with the health and armor paths. Let's start with the spawn path. Um, you can actually spawn in all of this zone here. The top, middle, or bottom floor. So we're going to have to take an average point and for that we're going to take the bottom floor. First thing to do so you spawn is to go and get that big armor. Then just directly go back down. Go around here you can get these mini healths. Then go in the main ground floor room get the uber armor. Go back and go to the spring jump and here you can go and get the Uber health. Go around and you can get many else again. And now go and get the other big armor. And that's you done. Now, the spawn path isn't the only um, health and armor path you can use. We're now going to see three different paths uh, you can use when you're in a critical situation. That means when you're health so HP is low because you've been hit by uh, your enemies we're going to see three different ones because you could be in three different zones we're going to start by the middle zone so for example if you're on this uh, middle floor more on the right or if you're on the ground floor so what you're going to have to do is quickly leave this spawn zone uh, because it's the opponent opponent zone and you don't want to get hit again or you could die if you have like 10 or 20 HP so you're going to strafe quickly to get these 5 mini house then you can get that uber armor then go back you're already back in your zone see it's really fast and get these 5 more mini house so you should already be secure with like about 10 mini house that's like 50 health then you can go up and get the big health and you're back to 100 HP points of course um, you need to remember that um, all these health healths probably won't be there. Now, what happens if you're in a critical critical situation and you're on the left side of the spawning zone? Well, what you're going to do is go through this left door quickly, go and get the three mini healths, then go up and try and get the uber health if it's there, three more mini healths, back in your zone, go across, get that big armor, and go and get go and get that big health so that should be you back to your normal health state you can get these four min five minute health in. and go back to combat and finally the the last path you can use is when you're in a critical situation and you're on the right of the spawn zone so either here or on this top platform so what you can directly do is get this big health then if you're still quite low in health like 50 health or if that big health wasn't there just score in here if the uber health is there go and get it so you just take this if it's not there go around and go and get the three mini healths and just as the last path get that big armor and then go and get the second big health and again, you can go down and get the five mini healths here. So that's it for the health and armor paths. Now let's see something else which is very important in Catalyst. It's ammo. Catalyst is a kind of close combat map, just like Super Prism Reactor. Uh, so you quickly go out of ammo, canoe or shotgun or sniper. So I'm going to take um, 
the usual, uh, the most uh, common loadout, which is a uh, cannon, uh, sniper, and shotgun, or what, whatever order they're in. So we're going to take that um, average spawn point I took for the health and armor pack. First thing you do is go around to that corner and get your shotgun ammo here. Then go to that central room. You can get. Um, I think these are grenades, yeah, they must be grenades for grain lighter and your ca canoe rockets. Then go around to this room. So, if you if you have a machine gun, which is not very common, you can get machine gun ammo. Go up and get your sniper ammo in this corner, and that's it for you. Now, um the best thing is to actually combine your health, armor, and ammo paths. So here's uh, the common path you can use for all of these when you spawn. Go up and get the big armor, go back then, get the 5 mini health if you can, shotgun ammo, uber armor, cannon rockets, go around and go and get your sniper ammo, Missed that Uber health. Then go down and get these three mini health. And go down and get the second big out. So that's it for all the paths. Um, now, let's see the different tactics and strategies you can adopt in this map. We're going to start with the spawn zone, which is very important. It's in this, in this zone that most of the combats happen. And it's quite a tricky zone since it's on. It's, um, it, the combats take place on three different levels the upper level here, the medium level, and the ground floor. The main idea is to try and stay um, on this upper level because you can first have a view on all. Of the zone, you can see uh, if someone's going to come and attack you. You can see uh, your opponents when it, wherever they spawn. And the second thing is that you can shoot at people from up here and make it hard for them to shoot. You can just see, for example, hide between your just crouch and just shoot at them. Uh, another thing uh, which is very important is to use this, uh, these jumps um, because they're they're the link between every platforms so you see you can just like go up and down and continue shooting at your opponents making it difficult difficult for them to to damage you since you're constantly moving you can also use this bottom one What's good is that with the, with this bottom one is you can constantly stay on it and shoot at your opponents. Quite fun actually to use. So that's two main things: stay on the upper levels and use use these spring jumps. Then uh, this zone is actually quite big, and um, going from one side to another can be quite tricky if you want to go and uh, kill someone of the area if he's too. Far away, and um, so the best thing to do is to use rocket jumps. So there are several rocket jumps. Two of them I can't do. I'm not that good at rocket jumps. Uh, the first one is the one which goes from here to the other upper platform. So um, I think you can normally only use a rocket jump. Just jump from here to there. Uh, Shinine uh, shows that rocket jump in his video. I put the link in the description of my. Of my guide. Then the second one I can't do is kind of similar. It's from this platform to the other one. Um, I think it's really hard to do it only with a rocket jump. Rocket jump. Uh, I know Nephi from PV actually managed to do it once, but it's very very tricky. So what Shinene did is that he used a grenade launcher and a rocket jump. So he first uh, shoots a grenade. And then this is rocket jump, and the grenade and the rocket will will push him at the same time, and that allows him to to jump over there. That's also in his uh, video. 
description, um, a link in the description. So now I'm going to show you the ones I can do, but which aren't as useful, but which can still be good. So the first one is to go from this upper platform to that medium platform up there. There. You can also go from this platform to that other medium platform, it's a bit easier. From this platform to that other one. There. You can also go from this one to that one, but you don't even really need to do a rocket jump. Anyway, so you can really do whatever you want here uh, with rocket jumps, and it's really actually quite fun to use them. Now let's go to the uh, second zone, which can be quite tricky. So it's the central zone with the Uber health. It's very important to get the Uber health as soon as you can. Why is this zone tricky? Because it's small rooms, and small rooms um, can be very deadly, especially um, when uh, everyone's spam spamming cannons, uh, cannon rockets. Uh, or anything that does um, high radius damage. So what you're going to want to do is stay away from these small tricky areas, these doorways, and you, you're going to want to control this, this central area. So you're going to have to use these. Keep going keep like this. See, just slow down in midair. I'm not very good at it. You can, you can still shoot at your opponent, see? It's quite hard to get a hang of it, but after some practice, you know, you can... You can use it whenever you want. Um, so that's it for that central area. I remember, get that Uber Health. Use these two launch pads and shoot at your opponents on the platforms. And remember, if you need to escape, well, you can escape as much as you want here. This door, this door, but usually the best is just to go down and get your armor and then go wherever you want. Now, the last area that we're going to cover is the central bottom floor area. Same as the upper one, it's quite tricky because it's, again, it's a closed room with walls all around it. And you can get stuck against the walls. So what you're going to want to do is keep going from one room to another. Imagine you've got an opponent right here. What you're going to do is go round and round and and it can be quite fun. Try and get him lost, like keep going or come back and and try and backstab him. So imagine he's going over there, just, just backstab him like this. Get the Uber armor and keep going round and round. You can go to another room if you're low in health and, and just try and get him by surprise. You can also use this lounge pad, which is quite fun to use. Just let yourself go, and you can shoot at your opponents down there without any difficulty. You can also get opponents up there, like they won't really know when you're coming out, so you're going to get them by surprise. Go to the left or right, so they can't get you in the center, and just keep shooting. So this area, just go round and round, and get your opponent lost, attack him by surprise, get him stuck in this, in this small room or this upper room, and just spam him with rockets. You'll see it's really, it's real fun. Well that's it for this map, I hope you enjoyed the guide and I especially hope it helped you. Um, if you start using all these um, these tactics, these paths, I know it's quite a lot but if you use them gradually start using them in public games, uh, you'll start um, making them, you know, your tactics and they'll become really easy to use 
you probably discovered new ones. Of course, there's tons of different paths to use, tons of different rocket jumps, invent your own, invent your own, do the ones that help you.